It is possible to break the part of your brain that knows how to read while keeping your ability to write intact. Allow me to explain. Alexia refers to a disorder in which a person loses the ability to read. It can coexist with another disorder called agraphia, which is when a person loses the ability to write. However, what is truly fascinating about Alexia is that it can occur on its own while leaving writing intact. In these cases, it is called pure Alexia. For example, in a case from 1995, a 67-year-old man with seizure and stroke complications found that he was unable to read even the simplest of words. However, his ability to write was intact, albeit with some spelling mistakes, whenever he was asked to write down his own thoughts or when asked to write down sentences spoken out loud by the researcher. But when he was asked to copy over other writing, requiring him to read it, he could only do so by carefully reproducing each letter line by line, much like drawing a picture. This bizarre disorder is always a little bit different for each person that acquires it, but in general, the symptoms follow a pattern. The person with pure Alexia retains the ability to read individual letters, usually with difficulty, by puzzling out the individual shapes. It is possible to lose the ability to read individual letters as well, which is called global Alexia. But in most cases, it is the whole words themselves that give the person with Alexia the greatest difficulty. In most people, reading words of different lengths doesn't change the amount of time that it takes to read the words because they are processed as a whole. Reading silently to yourself the words alligators wearing sunglasses and the words bears tying shoes might take about the same amount of time, despite one being almost twice as long as the other. But in someone with Alexia, each individual letter added increases the amount of time needed to read the word. It might take a minute to read each word. This slow strategy of reading letter by letter allows some people with Alexia to make a partial recovery. You may be wondering if Alexia affects reading numbers as well, and the answer seems to be yes, but letters seem to cause the most difficulties. Here's where things get really interesting. There are multiple cases in which a person who was multilingual with the ability to read in more than one language acquired Alexia and suffered the consequences more so for one language than for another. This has happened, for example, when someone originally from Japan lost his native ability to read Japanese but retained his second reading language of English. Alexia typically results from damage to a specific region of the brain in the left middle fusiform gyrus. Damage to the left side of the brain is typically enough to cause alexia without damage to the right hemisphere. However, it is possible for damage to the right hemisphere to cause alexia as well in rare cases. The reason that damage to this area causes alexia is still up for debate, with various theories regarding the nature of the interruption of the communication between the visual cortex, where you perceive the words, and the parts of the brain responsible for reading the words. Reading is a remarkable ability. Glancing very quickly at a group of connected lines, dots, and loops leads to a remarkably fast transfer of information. As complicated as it is, it makes sense that this is a way that your brain can break.